Happy Soulful Sunday. It is a beautiful day here in Ontario, Canada. And I had a great conversation with a friend this morning. And it really tied into my topic for today. So I find that fascinating. And my friend was posing a really neat perspective to say, sometimes do you ever think like, no matter where you are, you're sort of still stuck in something that this life, like we can't get out of it. Like we're in it. Like you, you're traversing through it and then this is, you're, you're stuck. And I, I thought, what an interesting perspective. I have felt sometimes stuck, but I never really saw the entire life story almost like a bubble trapping me, kind of like the Truman Show or whatever, where you're in it, like you're inside this experience. And my topic for today, of all things, was that we we cho chose to be here, that we even maybe, to me, I believe we've chose our life circumstance to be brought into, even if it's bad, even if it's tough, even if it's hard. We're here to learn and to expand and to grow. And for me, that thought of, oh, that I'm trapped in here is almost what I walked into here. So to perceive it as a trap is really like tying my own shoelaces together to walk forward in my life. My thought would be, why, how can I perceive something that I'm a co-creator of along with the powers that be and, and this choice to be here, this choice, every bit of my story as it unfolds are decisions and choices. You're faced with reactions and options. Again, how to cope with them, how to perceive them are choices and decisions. And I feel as though I understand what it is to th feel trapped in it from time to time, but to perceive the entire thing as something that I'm caught in versus something that I'm that I chose, that I, that I picked, I chose this life. I'm going to make the best of it if I can, when I can, how I can. I want it to feel purposeful. I want to let go of things that are burdening me. I want to keep growing and learning, hopefully every breath of my story. And this sense that I'm trapped, I think would give me, if I experienced that or when I have in the past, it's always been a motivator, like a like a fire underneath me then to create change, to find things I'm dynamically interested in or, or particularly wanting to study or experience or learn or understand or uh, learn to even be still and silent or to expand and want more knowledge or to grow beyond or just to even know when I'm in crisis, someday I'll look back on this and have learned from it or I'll be proud of how I navigated through this. I say those things to myself even when I'm going through tough times so that I don't feel trapped, so that I don't feel cut off from, from my source, from my, that I'm here with great purpose, with limitless light energy. I'm a, I represent a piece of this beautiful, beautiful matrix and how I own that, that with great purpose. So it's a neat way to see life and it's two such different perspectives. I really valued having that dialogue before recording today's, today's Soulful Sunday. So I hope you enjoy pondering these thoughts. If you have any feelings on it, let me know. And I hope that you have a fantastic week between now and next Sunday.